North Carolina returns back to Chapel Hill to take on Duke for the victory bell as four and a half point favorites this Saturday. I've got my three keys to the game that I'll be keeping an eye out for if Carolina is to win against their rivals from down the road. My first key to the game is Carolina has to show a sense of urgency with their field goal unit. Too often this year, they are too slow getting onto the field, costing UNC either a delay of game penalty or forcing the heels to use a timeout. Then when they do get lined up in time, it's a unit that has allowed for two kick attempts to get blocked. That's just too, too many. Carolina turns to true freshman Jonathan Kim to replace Noah Ruggles at kicker after Ruggles struggled last Saturday in Blacksburg, but this entire unit needs to figure it out. They have to realize when teams are as close as they are in the Coastal, they can and most likely will be the difference at times when it comes to deciding games. My next key to the game is Carolina has to limit Duke's quarterback, Quentin Harris, in the run game. Now that's a lot easier said than done as that's something that UNC has stumbled with in just about every game against a dual threat quarterback. In Duke's four wins, Harris has averaged 83 yards on the ground compared to their three losses where he's averaged just 29 yards. He's at his best when he can make things happen with his legs which then opens up the rest of the playbook for Duke's coach Cutcliffe. My final key to the game is Carolina has to win at the point of attack on offense. The Tar Heels have allowed 3.57 sacks per game, which is the fourth worst rate among Power 5 teams. On the contrary, Duke has sacked opposing quarterbacks 2.71 times per game, which puts them in the top 25 among Power 5 teams. At times, Carolina seems to get too reliant on Sam Howell, and defenses can turn their attention towards bringing more pressure to counter. Carolina can have a good mix between the run and the pass, that would have to keep Duke's defense honest and not just teeing up rushes against Howell. Six of UNC's seven games have been decided by six points or less, and there's no reason to think this game will be any different. If Carolina can achieve these three keys, in my opinion, their odds of getting the victory bell back would greatly increase.